Hello again, everyone. Right, quick turnaround. In the second session in this stadium operations and tournament delivery, we're now going to look at visual venue management, uh, plan and communicate to improve the fan experience. Uh, we're very lucky. We have Francis Casado from Mobile Media Content, Rob Bray from Wembley, obviously our national stadium, uh, and Danny Wilson from Manchester City Football Club. Please welcome them to the stage. Thank you. Okay, can you hear me well? Can you hear me there? Yeah, super. Good afternoon everyone, thanks for coming. So we are here to explain you and to talk a little bit about visual venue management, okay? I'm Francis Casado, I'm in head uh, of business development for mobile media content, developing ticketing 3D and visual venue management applications, okay? So, how many of you have, uh, have gone to a particular event, and you're expecting to see your players running all around, it's an emotional moment, you're gonna purchase your ticket to see, to sit and see them, and then you have this, okay? That's a restricted view. You have a pillar in front of you. It happens 90% of the times. It happens in the, in the Poland League, but if you go to the Brazilian League, it happens more or less the same. You sit and you have these problems. It happens again and again and again in, in a lot of, uh, of venues, especially when they are old. So, we are asking a question normally to our customers. Are you sitting comfortably? We try to solve a, a general problem, as I was saying. Imagine that you wanna go and you're gonna purchase a ticket. What we try to solve is to change the actual aspect of a ticketing purchasing platform. You have something flat, you can select a block, you can pay with your visa and that's over. But why if I tell you that with this map, I introduce you something like this, okay? You have an interactive view, you can sit virtually at any seat of the venue and you can check the views before you purchase the ticket. This is a direct application of uh, visual menu uh, management tools. But the most important thing is, this is something that works for any device, okay? So here you can see an example of the Man City experience. And you can see how it looks like when you try to interact with your seats with an iPhone or with uh, an Android application, okay? What we try to, to solve is to provide an experience that is almost 100% everywhere. So, but more than that, once we have the 3D representation of the venue, we can provide something that goes beyond that. Why if I tell you that if you are in the process of remodeling your venue, of if you are willing, or if you are planning to build the new one, if you use the 3D, it will help you. I, I will tell you how. We use the venue as an interactive user interface, okay? And you can use the venue for multiple things. You can use it for relocating your members, you can use it for uh, placing cameras, TV, and doing your project management. You can use it for activating your brand. I'm gonna show you some examples for managing your VIP and hospitality areas. So, for instance, regarding visual project management, we can detect if there are room for more seats on the venue. We can check disabled accesses. We can apply corporate identity and test logos before the, uh, the stadium has been finished or before we need to, to change something. The most important things, we can check all seats. Why is it relevant? Because imagine that you are remodeling your stadium or you are building a new one. You receive the information from the architectural studio, you check it, and then you notice that you have these problems, okay? We've been working with several projects where in a stadium of 50,000 seats, we have detected more than 8,000 seats with restricted views. If your customers go and they wanna sit and they wanna check the views and then they notice this, they will complain. So how can you avoid that? with this visual representation, okay? Member relocation, once you have the 3D, you can use it. Uh, Danny will explain to you uh, uh, later, for instance, for Man City, they were building a, a new stand and they have been using the 3D to relocate the members before the stand has been finished. Season ticket and regular ticketing, once you have the 3D again, if you apply it for regular ticketing, why don't you apply it, uh, we can apply it for, uh, for the season ticketing as well. Obviously, you need to measure everything, okay? You are selling to your customers. You need to track them. Where do they come from? Uh, where are they spending? Where are they selling? You can even have maps of the blocks that are selling the most. You can track everything. With this, 
once you have the 3D again, we can offer you tools that you can connect with your CRM systems, with your internal sales tool, to use the venue as a user interface and to use the seats as uh, your, the, uh, your ideas, your cars that you can start painting and changing the colors. Apart from that, the 3D and the VIP areas are extremely aligned, okay? We are developing editors that allow you to configure your VIP areas before you sell it. You can drop the furniture on, you can change it, customize it, and create uh, quotations live. Whenever you finish your configuration, you can send a PDF file to your customer saying, this is a, an, an estimation of the quotation. It's an emotional sales moment. And last but not least, brand activation. Since you own the space, since we have the 3D, we can use the actual spaces that we have, but we can generate ones. For instance, we can generate these spaces with uh, product placement and virtual 3D representations in the middle of the pitch, and we can use the existing ones, okay? This is extremely relevant because during the process it's an emotional moment and the, the guys or the, the customers are uh, looking at the, in the middle, are looking to the middle of the pitch, okay? So, in a nutshell, these visual tools that we provide uh, enhance the venue communications and brand activation as uh, you have seen. They improve the internal management and the future planning in case you are building a new venue or you are planning to remodel. And they increase the fan satisfaction. So this is very good, this is the, the theory, but I'm, I'm gonna give you some uh, success stories. So I have here two of uh, our latest projects and the best representation that we can have. So for that, uh, I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna pass the, the control to the guys of Wembley. So Rob Ray, please. Thanks, Francis. Afternoon, everybody. Um, so Wembley Stadium, uh, multiple configuration, multiple events. We have 35 events of all nature uh, throughout the season. Uh, England playing there tonight. Unfortunately, I'll miss that. Um, let's just move on. So th the focus of, of my part of this uh, presentation is really around Club Wembley. Um, Club Wembley is, uh, in, in simple terms, the best seats in the, in the house. Uh, hospitality space. Um, of the 90,000 seats in Wembley, around 17,500 of them are actually hospitality. So the whole of level two, which you can kind of see just underlaid uh, at the back there, um, we have uh, restaurants that seat, I think we can actually take about 8,500 people for dinner. Um, we have a, a kitchen that's actually half the size of uh, the football pitch, as you can imagine. So we have a range of products that suit um, all needs, uh, from fine dining through to gourmet burgers. Uh, and actually communicating and selling that experience is, is a fundamental challenge to any organization. Um, and the kind of tools that we're actually talking about with MMC help us do that. Okay, um, the core products that uh, Club Wembley actually provides, uh, they'll actually be finishing in two, uh, 2017. Um, so we started in 2007. Uh, and the Club Wembley team are actually working on a whole range of new products. Um, and part of the, the, the kind of launch of those products is actually delivering a range of new technology that will help the sales process. Really bring the fan as close as possible to the event. Now most people that would buy a Club Wembley seat will have been to Wembley and experienced the event. But it's unlikely they're actually in Wembley when we're making that sale. So we need to be able to remind them of the experience that they actually have uh, when they come to Wembley. So we have a range of uh, new tools, new technology that we'll be launching um, fairly shortly, um, enhancing that customer experience. And MMC have really been uh, fundamental to that. Um, I actually, for those of you scratching your heads on occasion, you may wandering around conferences like this. I found these guys here last year. Um, and so we've actually, you know, I think I've, I've paid for this visit and last year's visit um, out of uh, the work that we've actually been able to complete. Um, the kind of visual presentation that's necessary to get somebody to commit really requires that enhanced experience. Okay, we're launching uh, a new product sales tool, so something that our um, sales force will actually have, take with them, uh, and many of the features that are on that product sales tool will also appear within the Club Wembley, a new Club Wembley website and a new Club Wembley app. And there are a whole range of features that we hope will actually enhance Club Wembley members' experience. 
but also the experience of their guests. And if you kind of take it to its ultimate, very often with large corporates, the experience of the guests of the guests, and so on. And you could probably take that out a little bit further. So we're actually going to have a quick walk through the product sales tool itself. Um, I, I, I can't give you a live demonstration. Um, but we start in this general area of the, of the um, stadium schema. Uh, and we can actually select our product either visually, so go click on a, 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 um, a block and actually start selecting from there. Or we can choose by membership category, or we can refine by price, or any combination of, uh, of those three. All of it is dynamic, so linked to our underlying product platform and CRM platform. So you will only see blocks that are actually available. OK, so here I've actually used uh, the uh, membership category. I could have refined it by price point. Um, I've selected a particular block, and it's dynamically providing me the available seats. And that could actually be changing real time as we go through a sales cycle. OK, we've gone in, and now we're actually beginning to build up the package, a unique bespoke package for that particular customer. Selecting seats, and that actually they could, if I, I take some of our corporate customers that may have 50 or 60 seats spread across multiple membership categories around the stadium, um, being able to zoom into any part and actually real time pick up the pricing. That's example pricing, just in case anybody's uh, concern. Okay, and then we can start walking into the actual experience of the stadium. So a view from a seat, in actual fact, we have a view from 90,000 seats, courtesy of the technology uh, that the guys have provided. And this is actually a walk through some of the different combinations that we're looking at. So this is uh, something you might see on a mobile. I'm just actually scanning around the stadium, zooming in, zooming out. Okay and then actually a view from seat rather than the block as we saw before. Okay, I mean, it, it blew some of the guys' minds when you can actually see the texture of the concrete. One of the big things for Wembley is that we have NFL, we have music, we have a whole variety of events and it's to remind our customers that actually it's not just the football, although very often that's the key reason. So here is Wembley mocked up as uh, an NFL event uh, we've got three of those in the uh, autumn. And then into concert mode. So it's incredible to go to Wembley and experience a concert and then to try and actually uh, get somebody to feel what that's like, even down to pitch level. One of the pictures you saw earlier on was actually um, of the uh, Proch v. Groves boxing last year, which was an absolutely incredible event. Well, actually, just flip on, um, to be able to uh, create packages on the basis of that event or to create packages uh, based on just England or on just NFL and to use the tools to actually kind of bring the emotion across. We can't do it with an empty stadium. Sometimes it's, it's more difficult. And then finally, a rather dull screen at the end of it, the process has actually <coughs> generated a bespoke package and a contract ready to sign. So linking the whole thing together and actually uh, hopefully using the emotion as a, a sales tool to actually close a deal. And ultimately, that's what we need to do. OK. I'm going to hand back to Francis. Thank you very much, Rob. So in the following, we have been checking how this uh, multiple view configuration for a particular venue works in, the, in this particular story uh, presented by, by Rob. Now, I would like to invite Daniel Wilson from uh, Man City to explain us about the Transfer 3D and ticketing 3D experiences in Manchester City. Thanks, Francis. <coughs> Good afternoon. So, taking a journey up to the north of England to a place not far from here, the Etihad Stadium, home of Manchester City, um, talk you through a, a different context of how we've used the ticketing 3D and transfer 3D solutions by MMC. As some of you may be aware, we um, Turning the clock back probably three years or so, we looked at expanding the Etihad Stadium. We went through the due processes of consultation, planning application went in, planning permission was granted, and we got to a point where we started to, to expand the Etihad Stadium in March 2014. 
The vision was to introduce another 7,500 seats into the stadium. A new third tier on the south stand that you see there right in front of you and three more rows at pitch level. You see the build process bringing supporters close to the pitch on all four sides of the stadium. At the same time, we wanted to explore other opportunities, um, one of which was introducing a new premium seating experience with the new space that was created through expansion and aligning that to some of the best seats in the stadium outside of those used currently for hospitality. Joe's was one example celebrating Joe Mercer. Uh, his successes are still to date our most successful manager and 9320, another sports bar that we built within the South Stand, celebrating the moment Sergio Aguero scored the goal that won us the Premier League back in 2012. Similar time, we reintroduced hospitality uh, on the second tier of the South Stand, creating a restaurant that holds 500 people, uh, the Legends restaurant within the stadium. And along with that, we also kind of took advantage of the unique opportunity to review our pricing structure around the whole stadium. When we went out with the communication to say we're expanding the stadium, we communicated season tickets from £299. We also spoke about the introduction of premium seating and new hospitality experiences. As part of this, we started to regrade the pricing. You'll see the different shades on level three on the right hand side there. Um, we had three different price points across the stand at the different blocks in, in the east and west stands and different pricing with pitch level seating introduced as well. What did this mean? One of the fundamental considerations for us as a football club was with the introduction of new pricing, new experiences, new seats, there was likely to be more relocation of our existing season ticket holders. And of 35,000 season ticket holders last season, we saw over 8,500 relocate for the current season. So a big number we're going to move. We also knew that we're introducing 7,500 new seats into the stadium and supporters had no opportunity to view those seats or see the view from those seats in the stadium, so a challenge and a consideration for us. And at the same time, our current ticketing system didn't have the functionality within it to allow supporters to relocate and move themselves. It was a long, laborious process where supporters had to call us, often experiencing queues at peak times or come down to the stadium. We wanted to, to add the convenience to the supporter as part of what we were doing. We turned to MMC and similar to Rob, we received emails from Francis and the team um, over many months and, and we had a number of meetings and we bought into the, the ideas and the concepts and solutions that MMC could, could, could deliver for us. The three things that we did, we created a virtual 3D map, so a view from every single seat in the stadium, not just the new seats but the existing seats as well around the stadium. We looked at how we could pull together two aspects of what MMC do, ticket in 3D and transfer 3D to make one seamless process for the fan of relocating seat if they chose to do so, and also kind of renewing that seat or locking into it. And we also looked at how we needed to create a dedicated microsite to make all this happen and create the best possible experience for our supporters. This is a, a kind of the, uh, a screenshot of the, the dedicated site that we created for reservations and relocations, and now show you a short video that shows the login process for a supporter through to the experience of selecting different seats and ultimately renewing their seat for the coming season. So this is a support, you've got Ian White and Paul White, two brothers, hold two different seats within the stadium. Looking at the current seat here that they've got the option to confirm or relocate. When he goes on to relocate, can select any block around the stadium, then any seat within that block. Picking the highest seat within the new south stand, looking at the view, And then coming back out to the block view to have a look at an alternative seat lower down within the same block of the stadium. So Ian's relocated, Paul's having a look round, looking at different areas of the stadium, drops down to level two. Confirms the seat. And completes the process. So what we found with a, a number of our supporters, we've, uh, like a number of clubs, had challenges with the ticketing journey um, along the way at different points. 
Um, but it was great to see supporters on social media and on the forums actually really enjoying the process of relocating and going back on saying they looked at 20 to 30 different seats before they selected their, their ultimate location for the season. And the process worked fantastically well, both from the club's perspective, but more importantly from that of the fan. And ultimately what we started off trying to achieve way back in December 2012 was an expanded stadium. Holding 54,500 for our opening game against Chelsea, that's a shot of the first game. The atmosphere was fantastic, we made a few other changes relocating the away fans this season. But we got everybody inside the stadium and a great experience was had by all. Looking at some of the opportunities now and, and some of the discussions that we've got live with MMC about how we integrate some of these tools into our existing ticketing website. Currently the view from seat functionality as you're going on to buy a single seat for a cup game or a league game doesn't exist to this level of detail. So try to move some of the, the development that we've created and worked on into match day ticket purchases. And also our new uh, football academy, City Football Academy, we've got a 7,000 capacity stadium there with seating and also standing and opportunities for some hospitality offerings. How do we integrate some of the functionality into this stadium as well? so that we can be consistent across all the different games that we play across the two stadia. And that's, that's it from me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Danny. So this is in a nutshell, I think in 20 minutes, 21 minutes and a half, what uh, we have to tell about applying visual venue management tools for two success stories as that we had with these guys, uh, we're going to be continuing the, the work as they have been saying. With, uh, with Wembley, we're going to continue in order to provide some sort of uh, editors for these VIP boxes. We're going to continue with the, the guys of Man City to provide a complete integration with the, with the actual customer journey for the ticketing thing. And now, uh, I don't know, we have time for questions, right? So in case there's any questions, just feel free, either for these guys or for me directly. We'd be happy to try to answer you. Hi, Greg Hogan here. Just curious what the process is for, is it difficult for venues to move to this 3D environment? Like what kind of uh, files or designs do they need? Okay, you mean for the process, right? Yeah. When a venue is interested on in building a 3D, we normally ask for technical data, okay? Technical data means the CAD drawings normally uh, they have from the architectural perspective. CAD drawings are normally bi-dimensional, two-dimensional, they have the floor plans, the elevations and sections. We ask for the database of seats to marry both things and to start building a 3D representation, and then we ask for pictures, okay? We normally don't need to go to the venue to take pictures because normally you, the venues or the, the venue managers, they have enough information for that, okay? We can build the venue with this and we can provide, if the information is good, a view for every single seat, okay? So if the information is not that good, maybe we'll need to visit the, the venue. The process normally takes, uh, for an average venue of uh, 40,000 uh, yeah, 40, seats, it takes around five weeks to be developed, okay? If it's a venue like Wembley, which is a 90 or 100,000 seats, it could take a pair of months. Any other questions? Okay, thank you very much for coming.